Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip, and welcome back to my channel again. Three times a charm, guys. Three times a charm. Guys, this video is probably going to be a little bit more fun than the last ones. Even though, you know, it wasn't very nice what Gypsy Rose did to her mom. There is rumor, there is rumor, and there's some paperwork that says that Gypsy Rose possibly... There's paperwork from the lawyer, I think. I'm going to put it in here so you can see. From Nick's lawyer that says, excuse me, I just ate, that says that Gypsy told Nick, allegedly, that her mom had cancer and that she was in a lot of pain and that doing away with her would be like a mercy thing, a very honorable unaliving. So, would that surprise you? Like, nothing about Gypsy Rose surprises you. There is so much drama going on. I was just watching Nina, the beauty influencer on TikTok. She said that she was told by somebody, and I believe Nina, that she was told by, by a reliable source, she feels a reliable source, that Gypsy Rose and her husband, Ryan... They're not living together anymore. Supposedly, Gypsy Rose is living with Christy and Rod, which has got to be like a shit show, to be honest. Because I don't think Christy and Gypsy really do get along. Like, I think there's some resentment there. I think Christy is using Gypsy, and I think Gypsy is just so broken, though I think she's not a good person. I think that she's not going to ever find somebody that's going to genuinely love her because she's not capable of giving that or receiving it. Like, she's got so much work to do on herself to accept and see people for who they are. But she's, like, looking at stuff through a blindfold, to be honest with you, because she don't think anything's wrong with her. And if you don't think anything's wrong with you, then there can never be any changes in your life. And if you think it's normal that if you feel trapped, that you should unalive somebody... Then there's some, and you don't think anything's wrong with you about that? I'm gonna, I'm here to tell you there's something wrong with you about that because there's a lot of people that feel trapped and get in quandaries and they don't do what you did, like plan and premeditate this for two years, which is what you did, Gypsy Rose. Now look at this trail of content creators that you left behind. I read some of these nasty emails that she wrote or messages that she supposedly wrote to Fancy, you know? And I do believe that Fancy, just all Fancy wanted to do was what she said. I believe that, okay? I don't believe everything. I don't believe the chromosome thing. I believe that Fancy believes that, but I would love to see a DNA test on the doctor and uh, Gypsy because... That's what I'd like to see. Who knows? I, I'm, I don't want to argue about that. I think it's hard to trust medical records that have been f messed up from the start. You know what I'm saying? And anything that's put in them. I'm not saying that that chromosome disorder isn't something that Gypsy doesn't have. But I, in my opinion, I think it's more likely that she's the doctor's kid. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. And that's okay if I'm wrong. You know, you got to decide where you land here. And I wouldn't feel horrible if I was wrong because Gypsy's a liar in everything she says. Everything she says. But you know what's still stuck with me? And I, I'm waiting for Nick to tell us. I want, bless you, I want to know why Nick brought up Dan in that interrogation room. He would apologize to everybody but Dan, he said. He said that to himself. What? Why? How did he know about Dan? Why wouldn't he? Why was Dan there on his mind? I want to know that. That I want to know. I think. I think that we're gonna see a lot of things come out about Gypsy, and it's 
you know, because I don't think in my opinion, and you know, this is my opinion, and I understand that this is judgment and everything else. I don't think she has any remorse for what happened to her mom. I think that she would discard anybody else again, seriously, whether it be that way or whether it just be mean, heartbreaking or whatever. I don't think she learned anything. I don't think she thinks anything's wrong with her. I think she's a narcissist and I have no problem watching the train wreck that is Gypsy Rose Blanchard and being entertained by it. I really don't have a problem with that, especially when I've covered some cases where there are true victims. And you know what? If Gypsy Rose was a victim when she was younger, I give her that. But ever since she was a teenager and more, I, I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. I just, I'm not. I'm not on that bandwagon. I'm not going to get on it. So, I don't know. What would you think? I, I think that she, she, now, Nina says that um, Gypsy, that she says that Gypsy said that Ryan is too controlling. Seriously? Do you think he's the most secure guy in the whole wide world, Gypsy Rose? I mean, like, she just doesn't, he's not secure. You know, and and he's not, I don't know that he's controlling, but he's definitely not going to be comfortable with you running around on your own or doing things on your own. Does he strike you as that type of guy that he's going to let you, you know, be totally independent? No. We're going to find out what's going on here. I can't wait. Nick one day is going to tell us what he meant by Dan. Those um, tire tracks that Fancy has brought up that were in the front yard of uh, Dee Dee's and Gypsy's house, which, by the way, I'm putting a picture. Somebody, uh, f a subscriber of ours, right? Somebody who's in our comments and stuff says that they lived by this place when they were uh, younger and they drove by there the other day, I guess, and they sent a picture. This has been a while. I've had this picture for a while. And I thank them. I'm not going to sell out who it is. There was a person on the front porch, and you can see that I blacked out that person. So uh, I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate the support. This video is a little more lighthearted, like I said, because, you know, it's not nice to laugh at the expense of people, but... You know, when somebody just gives you reason to not want to see them succeed, you know, I don't want to see Gypsy Rose succeed until she realizes, look at what I did. Like, oh my goodness. You know, <laughs> Habitat for Humanity wouldn't take, <laughs> wouldn't take her help. She tried to help. I don't know if she has community service hours and, and has to volunteer. But Habitat for Humanity said, no, I think we should distance ourselves. I'm sure you guys heard that, right? And then she asked, can I just donate money? Well, you don't need, like Nina said, you don't need permission to donate money. But I can see where they might not cash the check. I wouldn't want to be affiliated with her. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? She's nasty to everybody, it seems. She can't keep her friends. She's not loyal to anybody. The things she says about people, she goes from I mean, high-pitched shit straight to nastiness and threats and vengeance and vindictiveness. Is that the way her mom was? Or is that just the way Gypsy is? Maybe her mom lived in the hell the whole time. Gypsy ran the show. That's what I think. <clears throat> Guys, what do you think? Tell me in the chat. This is my last video for today because I'm going to go to sleep now. And uh, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much. As always, thank you so much. Don't forget, please like, subscribe, and share. You know, the videos for Gypsy Rose Blanchard are about the ones that are made about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. 10% of those, um, the revenue that those videos make go for people that really need wheelchairs. So that's where the money is going to go for this. Uh, I try to give 10% for all my uh, videos to go somewhere. Unless I give 100%, in which case I'll tell you, which is the Garrison um, Brown video. Uh, those two videos off the top of my head. Those videos 
if you can grab those like subscribe and share just share those videos the money for those videos are going to probably go to um a cat he a cat shelter it seems like people agree that that's where that money should go so guys thank you so much again i so appreciate you i hope you have a great day she won't stop all right guys and she says, says have a great day too all right guys this is issues with toddy one skip i am toddy one skip take care guys thanks bye